y'all now after seeing this, y'all gonna be paying attention to people neck. Y'all gonna be like, you can, I can tell you don't do this shit with shit to your neck. You need to moisturize that damn neck. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is moving day, y'all. We've been up all night. I'm tired. Okay. Moving is such a task. Man, oh man. But you say I'm just a friend. But you say I'm just a friend. I did the final like little cleaning this morning after Brandon and went to work. And now I'm about to go downstairs to our new apartment and unpack. Bye bye apartment. She is all done. She is cleaned out. Y'all, we did this in literally less than 24 hours. Insane. Closet empty. Bathroom. She's so empty. Okay. But yeah, that's that. Bye bye to the one bedroom apartment and hello to the two. Okay. And hello to the mess. Okay. This is a little mess. But Ajay is about to get it the F together. Okay, we're gonna get all of this together. I'm so excited, so excited. Look at the progress of the beauty room. This is what it's looking like right now. Your girl is going to be painting an accent wall. We're gonna do, get out, 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 out. Come here. We're gonna do um, a DIY lime wash um, style paint with regular paint. But this is the flooring so far. Brandon's done a really good job with this. So yeah, super excited. Lisa just called me and she said that she's gonna have someone come up here and check on that AC because it's hot. It's in the dead middle of the summer and it's like hot in here and I'm like doing a lot of movement. And I don't wanna pass out. I'm over here drinking coffee. I need to be drinking water, but I need my coffee to get me like a little going. But yeah, I'm gonna start with the bathroom because I feel like that's the most important. You know, we need to shower and use the restroom. So I'm gonna go ahead, unpack the bathroom and then we're gonna move on to the kitchen. So, yeah. Don't hit talking, baby. So I finished the bathroom. 
finally. This is the bathroom. And um, I'm gonna have a task grabbit because I know Brandon gonna be tired when he gets off work. So I just went ahead and ordered a task grabbit to put some stuff up for me. So I'm gonna have them put the picture up, put the shelves up, um, and then put my salon um, station up. I can't put the TV up yet because I, I have this idea of what I want the like living room to look like and I haven't started painting yet so yeah task grab is coming at 3 30 and now I'm about to attack the kitchen but the bathroom is done one room down a few more to go like somewhat together moving is a lot but Nala just got her hair did y'all saw her earlier in the vlog she was looking crazy but she just got a bath and haircut shout out to her great roomer he is the bomb.com she looks so cute now we have to put her little chain back on stop Nala sorry <laughs> mm. what mm. Stop, Nala. Nala just got her hair cut. She, she look cute. Where you going? Do the foot. You look so pretty, girl. The best thing about this is this is like a, this is supposed to be sterile. Looks pretty. It's acrylic. It looks nice. Yeah, they had a bunch of different colors. I like the acrylic one. That was, it's the vibe. Now, we you coming up in here with no bullshit. Blue. Yeah, blue. A blue top? That don't go with the bathroom. This, this as long as you this, know. This, this, this ghetto, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to hear that shit. Bro. This is ghetto, bro. <laughs> You're a hater, bro. Just You're a hater. You're so pretty, y'all. And you smell so good, mama. You smell so good, mama. You look so pretty, girl, y'all. We just gotta get you some burbits so we can put on your ears so they can look like little ponytails. Catch. What the fuck, man? I have thrown her a few times at you. Yeah, when I was on the couch where when she lands, she'll be okay. No, you caught her. Or when I was actually looking and preparing for her. I said catch. For. You're not gonna throw Bro. her. You're not gonna throw her. I'm not stupid. Though. You don't know if I'm gonna throw her or not. You're not. Something could be wrong with me that day. Mm -hmm. You gotta be prepared. Mm -hmm. Huh? You will not throw her. See, that's the problem right there. What? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. What's the problem? You don't wanna kiss me? It's just be licking all over your face and stuff. Oh, my baby. Get my duplet. Get my duplet. Better get used to it. You gotta get used to that You let a baby lick on your face. You let a baby drool on you. You let a baby pee on you. I don't really let them do that. It just happens like that. So, she just happens to lick my face. She an inside dog. She clean. She like, Is it like that? She not one of them dogs that eat her poop. Yeah, I'm a clean dog. Yeah, all I do is drink water, eat pebbles, eat little doggy treats. You don't know what she be eating. Yeah, I just be eating fruit. Yeah, I'm clean. Her mouth cleaner than your mouth. Yeah, so they say. Yeah. But you put if I bite you, you're not gonna get a bacterial infection. But if they bite you, you know. If she bites me, she's, I'm not gonna get a bacterial yeah. infection. Oh, but I'm telling you, that's, that's what happens. If sometimes. she bites me, and if you bite me, you could possibly give me a bacterial infection. Yeah, possibly. Exactly. So it's no better. Her, her mouth is cleaner than right, um, so a human's mouth. That's what they say. She'll let me lick you. Yeah. 
feel. He just jealous now. He jealous. Did you get all the kisses? Did you get all the kisses? Did you get all the kisses? The pretty self. You so pretty, girl. You did the prettiest thing in the world. I did the prettiest thing in the world. So, so first I'm gonna do is color the bundles like I said. And then I'm gonna take these leashes off. No, 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 I'm lying. First I'm gonna color the bundles. And then I'm gonna color my hair. And then while the color is processed, I'm gonna take the lashes off. Then I'm gonna wash my face with some new products that I got last week when I went to the Riley uh, makeup shop, workshop thing, skincare shop thing. And then after that, I'm gonna do my lashes. No mind. Then I'm gonna rinse my hair out, my natural hair out. And then I'm gonna blow dry. And then I'm gonna do my lashes. And then I'm gonna prep my hair. Then I'm gonna rinse the bundles out. Then I'm gonna dry the bundles. And then I'm gonna do my hair. No, no, no. And then while it's drying, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. So that way I can record a TikTok video of me doing my hair. In reels and shorts. And then I'm gonna do my hair. And then I'm gonna take photos and do videos. And then we gonna attempt to have the girlies be like yes i need my hair done like that i'm about to come through with the come through now that makes sense right yeah <laughs> you was all over the fucking place just now just now right? everything i said made sense right all right we're back yeah we're back period first thing i'm gonna do is i have a plan sounds, sounds a little more sounds better this time around you drank it huh you drank it I drank it. I drank it. You, it was you drank. I drank it. It's how you said it. You said drank. Like, it just sounded crazy. These are my wine glasses. Yeah, These are raggedy. They are raggedy. They are raggedy. These are like ones you get from Walmart. I think I got them from Longus though, but they just raggedy. I want to go to, um, I want to go to, um, a crate barrel. CB2. What outlet? Uh huh. Uh, okay. I wanna go. Damn, this is good. Oh, baby, you got what I need. What you saying? right there it's two dogs on the balcony jumping look at how they jump in they want to get in the house and it's storming y'all I'm literally gonna go over there knock on the door and be like did it let him in did he let him in I don't see them no more they better not have jumped <laughs> That's not funny, but yeah, they let him in. I, I never treat you like that, okay? You would never be an outside dog. Ever. I'm about to cook a plate. Alright, I'm about to cook dinner. It's giving lamb chops and potatoes. Hell yeah. You want some lamb chops? Hell yeah. <laughs>
So we have pilaf rice, lamb chops, and kale. I look great. Um, how do you like the lamb? It's good. It's good. It's huh? It's good as what? It's good as what? It's good. What? Mmm. You dead ass? Is it too spicy? No. You need a napkin? No. Alright, you can press play. I'm coming. share my life with y'all when i look back on these past couple of years it's kind of just like wow but before we get into all of that emotional stuff yeah kendra needs to get herself together as y'all can tell last night i went ahead and i did my hair she looks oh so good we are rocking with 26 inches of your girl's vendor we'll get into that later but yeah i'm about to go ahead and just like brush my teeth wash my face finally use my new skincare products that i got from sunday riley they invited me to a skincare workshop and i extended the invitation to chelsea so me and chelsea went and we had a really good time got some new goodies got to meet the owner herself and yeah that was pretty cool so Yeah, 
this little pouch of travel size stuff that we're gonna go through handy dandy headband to protect our new hairstyle and edges and I forgot about this a cute Sunday Riley hat okay team Sunday Riley I love it <laughs> okay so time to do our skincare routine now Jay baby I came a long way like a long way in regards to like this self-love journey i came a long way like i can finally stand in the mirror and i would say like eight times out of ten i will not boo and cry like before i could not like stand in the mirror and look at myself and just not burst out in tears because i was just like so overwhelmed and like super emotional about like my looks and you know i would see certain things obviously about like my face or my body and it would just like remind me of like just traumatic experiences that I've had in the past and I would just like evolve in tears cry you know just being very emotional but now like I said eight times out of ten that won't happen and it's so interesting because I've always like tried to this always has been like a semi-routine for me I just been a little more consistent after me and my mom just so happened to have this conversation where we kind of like shared the same experiences um, or similar experiences where, you know, for me, I realized that I didn't love myself the way that I should love myself. So, um, like, after the incident when I first moved to Atlanta, I was just like stayed in the mirror, no makeup, no extensions, no lashes, no nothing. And my agenda was to just stand in the mirror and look at myself and to just accept and love myself for who I am in the raw, like, you know, and I had no nails, no nothing. And that was really, really hard for me. And I just had to like, now let's have a you moment, like just stare in the mirror and just like talk to yourself. I, it, it could be, I could either, sometimes I'll sit in the mirror and stare at myself in silence. And then other times I'll sit in the mirror and I'll just talk to myself or I'll just like verbally journal to myself, telling myself how I feel in that moment, how my day is going, how my week is going, what are my goals, you know. I just like, yeah, I'll just stay in the mirror and talk to myself. But like I said, now I can say about eight times out of ten, I could literally stay in the mirror and just like be happy with what I'm seeing in the reflection. So I don't know if that was kind of like all over the place, but I just wanted to share that with y'all because, baby. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and get into my skincare routine. I'm going to go ahead and try out the Sunday Riley's products. I have been using this bar soap underneath my arms. It's a, a turmeric soap, so I've been using it underneath my arms, and I feel like, I don't know what the hell I was just thinking. <laughs> I feel like it has been... Um, I've been using it for the past week consistently and I feel like it does that has definitely helped with brightening up underneath my underarms because my underarms have a tendency to be like super black, like so super dark, like higher pigmentation on the extreme. And this has definitely helped brighten it up. So I'm really excited about that. I'm like, hmm, you know, maybe I should use it on this little area right here because it's just dark around this area. So maybe if I incorporate this into my skincare routine, my, my um, the cleansing part, that it'll help like brighten up that area too. So 
we're gonna start that today and crossing fingers that that kind of helps or whatever but i'll continue to do my research to see like what can i do to brighten up this area because baby <laughs> but anyways yeah no how you treat yourself how you look at yourself is a reflection of how other people treat you and what you allow or maybe i should say how others treat you slash what you allow is a direct reflection of how you feel and look how you look at and feel about yourself i've also tapped into creating my non-negotiable boundaries like saying no without feeling guilty and just prioritizing myself has definitely been on the top of my list so like even within my relationships i had my non-negotiable boundaries and that's not only just to protect myself but it's also to protect my relationship the health and status of my relationship this healing and self-love journey has not been no straight linear path you know i've had my good days and i've had my bad days i feel like i've shared a lot of my good days and i shared a lot of my bad days with you guys and i've just bound myself to try my hardest to be patient and to just walk through this journey with grace because like i said I, you know you're gonna have your good days you're gonna have your bad days but having that faith of knowing that everything is going to be okay and that this like the hell of a thunderstorm is just temporary is going to pass through is like obviously extremely important i would have never seen myself like three years ago two two three years ago i did not imagine being here right now like in this space mentally um emotionally physically you know i find myself like really diving into like vices that are like no good for me or like i thought that i was gonna never be able to eat a burger again <laughs> like dealing with those emotions at that moment i'm just like oh my god i not even good i can't i can't eat or people typically put eye cream just underneath the eye but eye cream is for the entire exterior of the eye so underneath the eye where the, what is this, crow's feet? Is this where like crow's feet start to um, form? <laughs> and then also on your eyelid, y'all. I did not put any of these products on to like my neck area which is really important i'd be looking at my neck and i'm like where do these lines come from why do i have these lines on my neck it's because all that hard work that i'm putting onto my face i need to also do that to my neck so i gotta remind myself to to do that you gotta love on your neck because your neck says it all the neck be telling your your health status your age y'all look at that neck y'all now after seeing this y'all gonna be paying attention to people neck y'all gonna be like you can, i could tell you don't do shit, shit to your neck you need to moisturize that damn neck <laughs> I can definitely tell that I've like put on weight. I'm gonna get me a scale to see how much weight that I actually put on, but like it's really showing in my face. And I hate that for me. I definitely <sighs> need to stop playing and be consistent. Cause it's not my eating. My eating isn't bad. I don't eat bad. I don't be like eating throughout the day or snacking. And I when I do cook, I don't cook like big stuff. Like I cook normal and my portions are normal. So it's just me incorporating more activity, like real activity in my daily routine is what's like really important right now for me because child, this is not cute. And it's even more like annoying. I don't like, when I'm looking at myself right now, I don't really see it. But I know like when I'm editing this stuff, I'm like, damn, all this, like it's too much going on down here. We need to slim this out. And I be thinking like, hmm, maybe I should get me some, you know, but I'm like, you know what? It's not a DMJ. Self-love journey. Self-love journey. 
Come on, Najee, get it together. This is something that you're you have control over. Of. You can fix this your damn self. So, yeah. But yeah, my skin is looking so good. Can y'all see? Do y'all see the transformation? Like, do y'all see the transformation? My skin is looking like so good right now. And that was me using all of Sunday Riley's products. I'll leave everything linked in my description box. Just a minute. But yeah, I'm going to talk more about the self-love journey that I've been on and is continuously walking in grace on in, in I think a separate video because which will be an introduction to my that woman content. Y'all, I'm like dead serious about to start doing that. Um, I'm just trying to get, you know, settled into my new place and set up like my recording area where I'm going to be doing my sit down um, videos on my That Woman dedicated content. So I'm excited to start posting some new stuff on this channel. Hopefully that can gravitate me to getting, you know, more subscribers and followers. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my hair real quick. I want to go get my nails done. I have my friend, she's coming by today after she gets off work to get a sew-in. So, I'm gonna be recording content as well. And I need my nails to look good, okay? So, I'm gonna go get my nails done today. George also wants me to help him with another recipe because the uh, tuna bowl recipe did really, 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 really good on his Instagram. Like, people were remaking the recipe, tagging him in it, and it got like a lot of shares and stuff. So, that was pretty cool. So, now he wants me to help him come up with a, another fun recipe. Um, he had literally just called me, but I'm busy today. Okay, so I'm gonna make an English muffin breakfast sandwich. The one thing you're gonna need is parchment paper, because this is what I'm gonna to use to put my turkey bacon in the oven. Um, I prefer, okay, let me show you guys the two types of turkey bacon. Okay. You got uncured turkey bacon, right? And then you have this right here. This is the turkey bacon that we used to eat when we were little. This is the turkey bacon. If you're gonna eat turkey bacon, this is the type of turkey bacon that you should eat. Some uncured turkey bacon, okay? He bought that turkey bacon because he thought that this is what I wanted. I'm like, baby, when did you ever see me buy that damn turkey bacon? He's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he really eats turkey bacon. But in this house, we don't eat no swine, okay? So. He okay with eating turkey bacon, but he just thought that that was the right turkey bacon to get. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this old school turkey bacon because he bought it and we're not gonna waste no food. So I'm gonna make about three of those, put them in the oven. I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of in like a rush right now, so I got my oven on royal, on high, and I'm put that baby on the top shelf and let that bacon cook. We're gonna take my all-time favorite pot set by Caraway. Y'all, I don't know if y'all be reading my description box, but I always leave Caraway links down below in the description box because I'm always using it. I'm always good in my box. So y'all want you a really nice, good nonstick pan that's aesthetically pleasing. They come in different colors, but I got the cream color. Um, check out Caraway. I'm telling you, and they always have the deals and stuff, and it's always linked 
in my YouTube videos. So, yeah, I'm going to take two eggs and just um, fry them. I'm not going to scramble them. I'm literally just going to fry them. I didn't even prep the pan. <sighs> but I'm going to prep the pan with some butter. Close that up. Let that cook do its thing. I'm literally not going to scramble it. Just going to let it cook do its thing. Flip it over. Bam. Oh, One at a time. I guess y'all should see this, right? Look, I'm going to get better with the cooking content. Only because I want to make sure the yolk is cooked. I personally don't really care for the not-so-cooked yolk. I like my yolk cooked. I'm just going to flip it over like that. Just for a little bit. Then I'm going to put some jalapeno peppers on here so they can kind of heat up. They are so good. From Trader Joe's, hot and sweet jalapeno peppers. So good. Flip my egg back over. It doesn't take long for the yolk to cook. And then I'm going to take my cheese and put it, I'm going to turn the heat off because you don't really need the heat on right now. I'm going to take my cheese and let that just melt on its own. So good. I might go ahead and throw the spinach in there as well. And then put a little bit of olive oil. The lid back on that and let it do its thing. I'm gonna put the not so burnt side onto the sandwich and then I'm gonna eat the burnt side. <laughs> Just gonna take this avocado out there i love when the avocado is like this because it's so easy to just it's so soft and it's just so easy to scoop it out mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna keep it simple because the egg is already seasoned so i'm just gonna squeeze some lemon in there it's one avocado would feed the two of us like the both of us but he's not here don't want to put it in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna <laughs> use the entire avocado <laughs> for my dance. So, trust egg. Another egg. I guess I could have made more of that, but that's okay. Jalapeno. Yeah, baby. We're gonna take some of this salsa. Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. This is so freaking good. Do you see this? Yes, the ultimate breakfast. And if you want to add a little sriracha sauce, you can. Just a little bit. Just like that. Bam. And there she goes. The perfect fully loaded breakfast sandwich. Starbucks ain't got shit on me. Period. Oh, it's about to be so damn good. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all point. You better that point. Come on, sit down. Finish eating my sandwich. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. We're gonna head to the nail shop. And then we'll make it back by the time Brie gets here. And
Greetings, my kinders. It is 8, but we're in a new day. I literally woke up with my nails did, so my nails are done. They look so cute. This is my favorite nail. Well, one of my favorite nails that I asked her to put an onk. An onk is the Egyptian is a Egyptian symbol for life. And then we did like a a snake, which is so cute. So yeah, I love my nails. They're so cute. Um earthy vibes you know i don't know i like it but yeah i'm in my beauty room right now i'm a little irritated because my salon station fell down mind you i told y'all that i was gonna hire a task grab to do it because i know brandon was gonna be tired so we hired a task grab to do it shouldn't have done that because it's down and on the ground right now and on top of that on top of that y'all it's a hole on top of that he even punctured like a pipe or something behind the wall so like it's leaking so like right here water be coming out there's no water coming out at this very moment but earlier today it was leaking real real bad i think maybe whenever someone upstairs or if somebody's running water i feel like that's when the water be coming out but yes yeah, so i had to do like an emergency maintenance um, to have them come up in here because I have a client tomorrow and I need my my space to look right. I don't know what they doing about that. But yeah, me and I have just been in here editing. Um, we haven't started painting yet. This wall is going to be an accent wall, but we'll probably do this tomorrow. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get myself together. I need to throw some clothes. Hey, head out the door. I'm going to be Aaliyah. She's doing a shoot today and she wants me to do her hair. So I need to get dressed. We're going to meet up with Akil so he can do her makeup. And uh, yeah. I'm so tired. Editing? Editing is so fun for me, but it's so draining. Like going through the clips and chopping them up and edit. It's like, it's tiring. Like you can't. I mean, you can, but I've been sitting for the past two hours and it just literally sucked the life out of me. I'm so tired, I need a break. So this works out perfectly. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. Heat me up a beef patty from Trader Joe's and have the tour. My car is now one minute away, but the kitchen is starving. Luckily I have these Jamaican style beef patties from Trader Joe's. Literally just pop them in the microwave. Literally just pop them in the microwave for about like a minute and a half or so. And we're done. Is. I ain't seen nothing, but I'm thinking that 
I guess whenever they run it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the water come down, whatever pipe is behind there, mm -hmm. probably got pierced or something when you, uh, maybe, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you put the, put the holes in the wall. Mm -hmm. And every time they run it from upstairs, or that's when it go. Mm -hmm. But I, I told the supervisor about it, he called him in as far as, the appointment go. Mm -hmm. I guess he made it for like Monday or something. I'm just assuming I can follow that back up. Because okay. he's off for the weekend. I'm just on call. Okay. But I did send it to picture to him and I made him aware of it. Okay. The steps that he took, I gotta follow up on it. Okay. I'm sorry you gotta deal with that right now. You know what I'm saying? I know you got clients and stuff coming in and you just don't look good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll keep you posted though. Thank you. expanding actually both sides because i don't know if you guys remember but i'm 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 an auntie like i'm like a real life auntie um my brother has a two-year-old son time flies by like god damn it i don't even know what time just be flying but he had currently has a two-year-old he just turned two and i just found out this is like all within the past couple weeks i just found out that my little brother is expecting twins twin girls I'm like wait what oh my gosh I need one of them no I'm kidding but um yeah he's expecting twin girls she's already like more than halfway through her pregnancy so that's super exciting and then my cousin um the one that's like closest like we're in the same age range she is uh she'll be 30 this year but she's 29 and she just had her firstborn and it's a boy she literally just gave birth like probably like a week and a half ago she just gave birth and we were on facetime and i was i saw the baby i was like oh my god i just cannot believe that a human being came out of your coochie like a whole human being came out of your crotch bro what the f is going on here like we were just like me and my cousin her name is um Pooh, rakita me and Pooh was literally just in the alley putting dirt on us pretending to be white girls y'all we were literally in the alley putting the rock sand dirt from the alley on our bodies like doing skits and stuff and she has pushed a whole full human being boy out of her crotch it's so crazy to even think about and then i'm just on the phone just now with my other cousin my he's my little cousin damn i don't even know how old my little cousin is he's probably like 25 maybe and he's doing very well for himself though like he he's he's doing really good i think he's in like architecture or something i don't know but he's doing really good for himself he lives in northern virginia he has a really nice townhouse and he's doing really good and he just had his firstborn a girl oh my god i'm like what is going on here so like everyone is helping expand grow the family and i'm just here like like still trying to figure life out like man and i'm just like so happy for everyone everyone's like starting their family and stuff and oh i could just cry i could literally just cry it's so crazy how like you cannot plan your life like you <laughs> i think that was god coming through me laughing because he'd be laughing at me like what then my cousin he just showed me a picture of like me it's not me he showed me a picture of grandma and his newborn and I was like, oh my God, that is like an iconic photograph of grandma and the baby. So yeah, I'm about to really like get into my makeup and I'll see y'all. Cause I don't even know what I'm wearing. I don't know what I'm wearing. Okay, so we are all dolled up and dressed and ready for dinner. This is my outfit for the evening. I really love the back of this dress. 
can't recall where I got this dress from, but I will leave it like right here and also link down below. Um, and then I got this bag from Azazi, super cute, big focuses. There we go, so cute. And then I'm wearing my clear pointy sandal heels that I got from Macy's and my regular regular Schmidler gold jewelry. And yeah, this is my outfit for the evening. I'm waiting in my car right now. She's having a birthday dinner at Yabo Beach House here in Buckhead. So I'm super excited because I've been wanting to try out that restaurant for the longest. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'll see you guys at Yabo. Huh? I do it every other time, so you gotta do it this time. Baby, I don't know how to do this. You gonna learn today? Come on, just do it this time. Just one time. You do it. No. No. Please? No. Stand on business. You gotta do it. Please, baby. No. Why? You do it. Why are you switching up on me? You're nice to me. I am being nice. It ain't like you about to say prayer before we eat. Same thing. No, it's not. They can't see the thing. Toast to new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Toast to unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Toast to healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. Toast to good health. Right, Toast to Let's get this money. Let's get this money. Right. <laughs> that was easy as hell.
something to drink. Uh. So, I'm so sexy, <laughs> big sexy. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. It's a song. It's on one of her songs. What song? I don't know. Shit, I don't listen to that motherfucker. Get like it this. sexy. It's probably on that shit. Sexy. One of her little ad libs she do Get out there. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Mm -hmm. Boy, you know this ass is perfect. I ain't lying at Maybe <laughs> 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 I'm hungry. Should we make the pizza first? Is that what you want to do for dinner or not? Not really. I want steak, but we can do it tomorrow. You want the steak? Oh, no, we're not later. Well, that's not lunch. We can do it for lunch. I don't listen to that type of music in the house. Should we listen to that tonight or no? I don't listen to that shit. Is you going to be throwing that one No. We don't want the, the devil's the work in here. That ain't the devil's work. We don't want the devil's work in here. That ain't the devil's work. We want to listen to some nice, soulful music. That ain't the, I ain't trying to go to sleep while I'm trying to paint. Alright, we can listen to... What you want to listen to? I don't know, but I ain't trying you to be... You want to listen to soulful music? I ain't trying to be going to sleep while we paint and shit. You want to listen to, you want to, listen to the devil's work? It ain't the devil's work. That Stop is saying. the devil's Stop work. That. That's the devil's work. Hey, Google. No, it's not. Play sexy red. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Oh, this ain't sexy red. Yeah. Hey, my Google know me. That shit looks terrible. Yeah, that motherfucker ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that motherfucker ain't going nowhere in the beer. Cause my pants too tight. That's what it is. I don't know how to dance, I told you. Well, I'm sorry that